It's an interesting question. Um, out of all of the European markets, so France, Spain, Germany, Italy, Portugal, bloody bloody blah, blah, which one of those countries do you do you think, based on what you've watched on the news, has been hardest hit by coronavirus? What do you reckon? Answers in the chat, please. Answers in the chat. Mm. UK, says Marcel. Mm. Spain? Yeah, Spain's been pretty hard hit as well. Italy and Spain. Portugal, not at all. I can tell you that Portugal's hardly had anything. Uh, Italy and Spain. Yep, I reckon you're right. Italy and Spain, they're the two hardest hit. All right, so... How about if I told you, uh, get rid of that, and get rid of that. So here is from Statista. I'll give you this link so you can have a bit of a look yourself. You should definitely subscribe to these guys as well. Uh, send to all. This is the um, results of what's been going on on online shopping in Italy. And as you can see, it has, of course, spiked and gone insane. So between February and March, it grew dramatically. What's it say? A 90% increase, year-on-year year increase. 90%, which is just insane. So here's the thing to understand. Um, money has not gone away. Money has not gone away. Money is still out there. It's, it's just that money has moved. That's what's happened. The way that people spend their money has moved and altered. And I made a bit of a bold prediction, I think last week or the week before, where I said that uh, in the USA, uh, online shopping, so e-commerce, accounts for 10% of all retail activity. So it's only 10% still, online shopping in America, uh, in the States. And I believe that by the end of this year, that figure will have jumped to 15%. So all retail spending... E-commerce only accounts for 10% of that, which is tiny. People worry about, you know, competition and growth and shit like that without realizing that e-commerce is still really at its infancy. Anyway, so I reckon it'll be 15%. So a huge increase, a 50% increase for this year. And this is what's happened in Italy, of course. Um, and this is also what's happened in Germany and in France and in the UK. Uh, UK is a very, very good market for e-commerce anyway, simply because of the number of people that shop online. Something to do with the shitty weather in the UK. The Poms don't like going outside. They're a bit soft, so we don't like going outside. Uh, and, uh, and so, you know, when you look at this, for me, this is a crazy opportunity. And I mentioned already what we're doing. I mean, we are just ramping up all our sales. All of our investment, we're ramping it up. We're, we've just increased our YouTube advertising, for instance, by 600%. It's a crazy opportunity right now. Absolutely crazy opportunity. This is something else as well. So here's the subcategories in Italy. I'll give you this as well. You can have a look at this. That are going nuts. Doink. Sent to all. So you can see fitness. So indoor. Paper and notebook. So people working from home. Creative hobby materials. So that's people bored at home. Health and safety, people worried about their safety, of course. Martial arts, gardening, house cleaning and care, food, nutrition, bloody, bloody, blah, blah. So, you know, it's a, it's a tremendous opportunity to be selling online right now. But that's, it's not to say that that's going to stop. I mean, I think we'll have COVID around until June, July, without a doubt. Um, and so it's just, now is the time to be launching though. This is the time to get your shit together and launch. So that's what's going on in Italy. That's also what's going on in uh, the rest of Europe. And strangely, of course, that's also going on in the USA. Things are going that way in Australia as well. This is the new normal. It's the new normal. There will be winners. There will be losers. I want to place you firmly on the side of the winners. And the way that you do that is by getting, taking advantage of the societal trends, these shifts, um, and positioning yourself properly. So that's the way you do it. That's the way to do it.
Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia and how to source them so you pay bottom, bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much, much more. It's the exact same information that people like Jeff from New South Wales I've used to make $45,000 a month on Amazon that Sue, who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business. And the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon. And indeed, Anthony, who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon, selling, as he puts it, odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and um, post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now.